you think? Good. What's going on everybody? It is Sunday morning, March 11th. Lucky number 11, 2018. And I'm headed to go hang out with some friends today. Uh, Rochelle and I, we're going to go over by some friends that live in a neighboring city and they're going to have a uh, St. Patrick's Day parade today. And we're going to kind of just go hang out and probably just sit on their front porch or something like that and watch the parade go by. They live like a house or two in from the main street or the main thoroughfare. Um, oh, guess what? I'm in my car. I got the car running. So I don't even know if I mentioned it yesterday or what I mentioned yesterday, but I was doing a lot of work to the car yesterday. I replaced the rear driver's side strut mount. Uh, that's the whole piece that contains not only the strut, but like the spring and all that. It had broke and rusted out horribly. And then after that, I started working on, I, I tried to do a boost leak test. So this car is twin turbo. And I've been getting codes, like check engine light codes, that says that it's been running rich. So I did a boost leak test, because everyone's like, oh, that's gotta be a, a, a leak or something. And sure enough, they were right. I had a massive leak out of my throttle body boot, like multiple tears and rips. And yeah, I just basically had to um, swap out the throttle body boot. The problem with the throttle body boot is it's just rubber. So because it's rubber, I had to, um, I, I had this, this other kit. It's, a, it's called a, it's made by a company called APR. And it's called their, uh, it's like a, um, I guess it's just called a APR bi-pipe. But what it is, is it's an entirely metal setup with no rubber boot or whatever. So it does use like O-rings for gaskets and stuff like that. It does have a little bit of like a ceiling gasket type of thing. But no rubber boot that can like blow out and, and tear and rip and all that type of stuff. So I, um worked on replacing that yesterday and I had it almost completed but there were still a couple small fine tune adjustments and stuff that I had to make so I um, finished that this morning so last night I drove my dad's car we went to a bar last night and it was pretty cool it was uh, like a little bit of a St. Patrick's Day party or whatever and ended up being kind of kind of fun something, something different to do the band was, was interesting and uh, the girls had fun. I was the designated driver. And uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad at all. So yeah, I'll get you guys some more clips of the, of the uh, parade and stuff coming up here. It should be pretty cool. So stay tuned for more. Yes. All right, here we are. St. Patrick's Day Parade 2018. Yeah. What, what am I supposed to say? Dear Diary. So, we're here with some friends. The parade's like right over there. We gotta be like Mr. Wilson, peeking over the fence. We're about to close the, wind, the do uh, roads down. Wow, all the way down the whole street. They do this every year? It's my first time being here. Wow. Okay. What do you What do you have to say about this? <laughs> Coffee. Yeah, no, no more drinking for you today, huh? <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, Evie, do you have a mustache? Oh, I love it. Evie, give me your mustache. He's the first. I just got the paper up. I've been trying for ten minutes. Oh, I love that <laughs> green mustache. Hey! Knights of Columbus. Is that old school? 
school camper. Uh, it's got white walls on that trailer. No, you're good.